I feel so bad when I've seen somebody who is just, you know, lying on a bed and trying to talk to you. How it can be possible? It is the BC ethic. You should sit properly. You know what you want to yes. but right now I'm not in, not at home. So I do not have my okay. tripod, but I'm still holding this phone like so that I cannot move a lot because it disturbs yes. the other person, right? So one yes. day when yes, I was you know, talking to somebody, the person was like holding a phone and, you know, moving here and there and going. It is so irritating sometimes, you know. No one is... I have to work on my communication, so I have to find the time as well. So this is my compulsion, I would say, or I can say now this is my need to work on myself because I... You... So very good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing uh, fantastic. I'm fit as a fiddle. How about you? How are you doing? I'm doing great. And yes, we are meeting okay. for the first time. So let's start with the introduction. Yes. Would you mind giving your introduction first? Definitely. I would be very happy to introduce myself here. Well, thanks to give me this wonderful opportunity to have me here first. And uh, I'm really ecstatic that I got the chance to have the conversation with you. Well, well, my name is Lalit Kumar and I'm from Uttar Pradesh. Basically, I come originally uh, uh, from Bulantar district that is in Uttar Pradesh again. And it's been seven years I have been working in private organization. And if I talk about my hobbies, so I like to do adventurous activities. I like to have conversation with the people like I'm having with you. And uh, apart from this, I, I sometimes read books, sometimes I watch Hollywood movies, and uh, that's all about me. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, would you mind? Yeah. Would you mind introducing yourself in a nutshell? Yeah, sure. Why not? My name is Karishma Chauhan. I'm basically hail from Delhi, but presently I'm staying in Gurgaon. I am blessed okay. with two kids. I'm uh, an advocate by profession, and I'm also a part-time YouTuber. Yeah, that's all about me. Okay, okay. I'm not also very far from Delhi and CR because I work in Noida and oh. I used to work, yeah, I used to work in Gurugram as well uh, uh, at railway, old railway station. So now I work in Noida and BPO. So you must know that how essential it is to speak in English. Yeah, I cannot. Your speaking is so well. First of all, I would like to give this compliment. You are no, very. These, these are the basic sentences. <laughs> I can speak them. In a good so, manner, but yeah. Yeah, you know how to talk, actually. Yeah, that's great. Actually, uh, no, actually, I got into the habit of having conversation, but with the help of your kind of personality, right? Okay, that's great. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I'm not the only one who who is putting my uh, putting the effort on myself, but, but somewhere other person is also help, helping me to improve myself. Like, I'm having conversation with you. It means that I'm getting something from you. Intentionally or unintentionally, I'm getting right. Okay, so this nice. is the yeah. This is the preaching kind of thing. I literally don't want to preach anything. Yeah. So let's dive into the session. Yeah, let's dive into the session. But before moving ahead, I would like to know that you said uh, you love reading books. So what kind of books do you generally read? Okay, so uh, actually, I said the time that uh, I'm sometimes I read the book. So I I would say that. Uh, I have a book uh, of Neem Karoli Vava's story, right? Mm -hmm. So, so there is a uh, Neem Karoli Vava in Nainital, and he is very famous. I uh, like he is not alive now, but yeah, his spirituality is also there. So mm -hmm. I went there. So I when I went there, I purchased a book from there. Purchased a book from there, and I I read that book a little bit, and still whenever I get time, I read that book. So whenever I get to know about the stories of Neem Karoli's Baba, so my spirituality spirituality get increasing, right, day by day, whenever I, I read that book. So, and uh, recently I went to Brindavan, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I didn't get the chance to purchase a book from there. But whenever I uh, go to, a, uh, to an, any uh, spiritual place, I usually, I usually try to purchase books from there. So that I can get some stories, I can get some, you know, history about that place. Whenever, yeah. whenever I read the book of Neem Karoli, ba Neem Karoli Wale Baba, so, so that time I get to know the reality, what they were doing that time. Right. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so it would not wrong to say that you are a kind of spiritual person. You love reading books about... Uh, wherever you visit, like you said, you visit Vrindavan. So, do you also read Bhagavad Gita? Yeah, I try to read. I try to uh, because I I didn't have Bhagavad Gita earlier, but uh, I downloaded 
that bhagavad gita in my mobile and i try to uh, read that uh, bhagavad gita and you know some people say this thing that it gives us peace right so i also uh, i also faced this thing that it gives us definitely peace and this is that is uh, that is why that is why uh, the people are reading that bhagavad gita and i think i i would say that one must read bhagavad gita so that they also can get the peace if they have some stress they also can get the uh, get get to know the reality of life they can right? also understand what, the, what is right uh, or what is wrong as per yes yeah. yeah that's important yes, yes. okay okay so you want to ask anything you can ask me otherwise i will keep asking something and something okay yeah i would definitely i can you know uh, i have lot of ask questions to ask and whenever like we will be diving into this session the question will raise definitely so now i would like to know something about your uh, your schooling background about your qualification background in, in which language you completed your schooling and about your graduation as well as you told me that you are at you are an advocate so which course you did for that okay so i will start with the school i studied in government school which is like purely hindi background so my english was okay. not that good and okay. after that i went when i went to the graduation i thought of changing my medium to english and i tried to change it but i got fail in few subjects so again i back okay. to my hindi language and i completed my graduation okay. even in hindi language after okay. my graduation i have pursued this llb course which is like after 4 years of graduation so in those 4 years i have learned how to talk with someone like basic english okay. how to write an email okay. and all and from there the confidence okay. came to my came to me like okay now i i should again try to give some exams in english and that was the okay. time when i did llb in english language and i have cleared it in just first attempt yeah so i did okay let's okay. say from cccs university I did okay. my graduation from Desh Bandhu College, which is regular college in Delhi. Okay. And okay. Overall, it's a good experience for me, and I used to be a kind of like totally Hindi girl. <laughs> I didn't know how to talk in Hindi <laughs> at that time. Yeah, I I usually ask to those people, those who are from uh, those who belong from metro city. So I usually ask this question that in which stream you have completed, or in which language you have completed your schooling or graduation, because uh, because you know I am from purely Hindi background. and i am from very rural area so i would say that was hard not to crack to me to learn this language so i usually ask this question because i i always very curious to know about the background of the person that from which background he is or she is so that i also can you know get to know something about the reality that like like how the person is improving their self this is a kind of experience i am getting from other people that how can i work on myself Okay, so like, how yes. did you learn English? Now I wanted to ask you because you seem so fluent in English. So how long have you been learning English, and what are the steps you took in order to uh, improve your English language? Yes. Okay, okay. As far as my speaking is concerned, so I would say, uh, first I started. Yeah, first I started. Uh, you're not visible. Yeah, now you're back. yeah so as far as uh, speaking is concerned so i started working on myself two days uh, two years back but uh, that time i was very uh, i was on very basic i can say i was not able to understand grammar i was not able to translate sentences like that right so i tried to join some institution that time i joined three institution that time for couple of months i would say for two months only and uh, yeah i would say i didn't get much from there but yeah, i would not say that i didn't get anything from there i got something from there that is why like i'm able to have conversation with you but that time that time i have i had fear of speaking whenever okay. I, like i was having conversation with someone i was not able to frame the structure frame the sentences and uh, it used to happen to me a lot that words i i i could not incorporate myself with the words that time so so yeah when i got into the practice by having conversation with the people so when and half year i did same thing i was just focusing on my grammar and all okay but after one year yeah after one year one day i was using my facebook and uh, i got to know about an application that is jos skills application okay 
yeah yeah so earlier i was not i, I didn't aware about that application so when i installed that application i started having conversation audio call with the people and uh, i started gaining confidence little bit i started getting words in my mind so and by having these things like uh, before couple of days ago i would say four days back i was having audio call only okay yeah this is my fourth day on this on this particular application i am having video call uh yeah so okay. It. and i would say this is a great idea this is the great thing that you are having video call at least you are not having video call in personally but you are having video call virtually and this is equal to the in person call i think yes yes that's absolutely true yes 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 so this is all about my story i would say but i wanted to tell this story in nutshell but i don't know <laughs> why it is always be very long <laughs> no that's fine it, it helps other people to understand that the people from the background like the pure hindi background they can also speak good english great english you just need to put some efforts obviously you have to work yes, hard yes. and you yes, can yes, achieve absolutely. level of fluency yeah so how is your yes. experience on talking uh, like on video call with different people okay so so far i would say uh, having conversation with the people and i i would say i have been having uh, like uh, different different personalities over there on my call and uh, i would say that uh, i'm uh, somewhere i'm improving my confidence having conversation because uh, here at least we have to be in the eye contact of the other person right we are being judged on the basis of behavior sitting posture having you know uh, gesture body gesture so these are the essential parts of communication i think and i don't know about like i don't know much about communication but that much i know that much i try to apply on me so these are the basic yeah yes. these are the basic things that one should know about these things like how to sit uh, uh how to be how to behave in the call how to have uh, how to use words how to express herself or himself so these are the things and i would say apart from communication experience uh, i'm having good experience i would say uh, i have been having four days uh, like calls from four days so uh, i would say uh, i have on uh, incorporated with many new vocabularies earlier i was not using them incorporate is also a word that i noticed by the four <laughs> by the having of uh, four days conversation so earlier i was not aware about this word so whenever i got to know some like whenever i get to know some new words i try to use them and i would say that uh, over the video call we don't need to beat around the bush right we can talk over the point whatever the other person is asking for and whatever i'm asking for like if i ask any question to you so you will you would not beat around the bush over that question you would directly answer me that this is the answer but over the audio call some people uh, sleeping like there some people laying laying down on the bed and they are answering me oh, okay i'm just having video call like that or audio call like that I so come on this point after you finish okay okay so now i'm finished now go ahead with your point okay so as you said that people uh, when they are on audio call they sometimes sleeping sometimes like they are just having fun and they are talking i have seen the same in video call as well and i feel so bad when i've seen somebody who is just you know lying on a bed and trying to talk to you how it can be possible it is the basic i think you should sit properly you know what you want baby yes. but right i am not in not at home so i do not have my okay. tripod but i am still holding this phone like so that i cannot move a lot because it disturbs yes. the other person right so one yes. day when yes, i was you know, talking to somebody the person was like holding a phone and you know moving here and there and going it is so irritating sometimes you know no one is going <laughs> to tell you these things and just your face they will simply tell you that please sit quietly and put the phone somewhere so that we can talk yes. but no one can tell you these things so you should understand them you should have this basic yes, yes. that when you're talking to somebody at least sit straight and try to yes. be polite not to rude and uh, don't move a lot it distracts other person <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it distracts the concentration of other person Uh, yes. while having the conversation like person uh, concentrate on the background of the people right yes. he doesn't concentrate on the conversation so it happens like yesterday i was having a call with the person i would not uh, like i would not be able to mention the name of that person here 
so he was just con- continuously moving around here and there and i was thinking that yeah right i'll not be able to have a long conversation with you so i'll have to wrap up this call now so i said her said him that i cannot go further i am wrapping this call now and we'll connect later whenever you are at the right place to have the conversation with me so it happens sometimes that we are not feeling comfortable by the you know by the second person yeah no sometimes what happen your camera quality is not good that is perfectly fine see not everyone yeah, can okay. same phone as you are using that is perfectly fine yes. but basic things which you can do to better to make the conversation better at least you should take that effort you should do that effort yes. and yes, one yes. more thing i would like to ask like are you a youtuber yeah because you know when i jumped on this application for the first time uh, i mean four days back so uh, i was uh i was incorporating with the uh, with many of youtubers right like you so they uh, they continuously uh, they they were continuously saying to me this thing that i am youtuber i would record this call over the youtube i would upload this call over the youtube so i inspired <laughs> i got inspiration from them and i started my own youtube channel earlier i had my youtube channel but i was not uploading uploading lot of content because this is a real time and good content to upload on youtube yes This yeah. is what I think. So, and, uh, like, uh, how old your channel is? Uh, I would say it took again a new birth uh, four days back. But I started my channel a couple of months ago. But I didn't work over there. Yeah, but uh, but I have been working on my channel channel for last four days, and uh, I have been uploading videos as well. Oh, that's good. Whatever great. I'm having on with Sajan, yeah. But I don't. Uh, but yeah, literally, I can say that I'm not here to. become a youtuber i'm here to just improve my skills because my first goal is that to improve my skills not to become a youtuber yeah this is the second th- second thought of me for now that i started uploading videos on youtube okay so, so like when did you, did you start to upload videos or Sorry? having conversation did you get time to have upload videos or having conversation because you said you are working in a bpo so what is your shift yes, like, yes. shift timing uh my shift timing is you us Uh, I work in US shift, so it is like five thirty to nine three thirty in the night. So if I talk about timings, so I just try to find the time because I know I I have to work on my communication, so I have to find the time as well. So this is my compulsion, I would say, or I can say now this is my need to work on myself because I you I already uh, I didn't say this thing to you that uh, that I had uh, face a lot of discrimination, a lot of humiliation just because of. just because Ooh. of uh, english language right okay. because you are from hindi background and you are working in i uh, bpo sector so it is also a hard nut to crack to yourself right yes. yeah so so i try to find the time to have the conversation i try to learn something from your kind of personality whenever i get time whenever i get the chance okay yeah so when did you start your english channel it's been 2 years now Okay. Okay. So, have you been uh, like, have you continuously working on? Have you been continuously working on your uh, on your channel? Yes, I have been working continuously from last two years. And earlier, I used to upload my single videos, solo videos, where I used to share the tips and tricks with my audience. Like, this is how I am improving because being okay. a person from Hindi background, and suddenly you you learn English in just two years, and so you no know, people <laughs> get inspiration. People thought, okay, if he can do, I can also okay. do. for that okay. reason i used to share all those things uh, on youtube but now like being a mother of two children it's very difficult for okay. me to create solo videos it takes a lot of time by so thought of uh, okay. like upload conversational videos it helps other people to improve their english as well they learn a lot of things through these conversations so this is what i'm doing from last one year right i think yeah okay yeah it is like good way because when i uh, when i uh, I uh, got to know the conversation videos over YouTube for the first time, so I started watching them. So earlier I didn't know that how to how the person can record the video and how they are you know why they are uploading over the YouTube. So when I started watching them, so I got to know the the reality that you can improve yourself by this way as well. Yes. Yeah. So I started like having conversation with uh, with over over the video call as well by by like your kind of personality. So. yeah this is a good way to improve the person right if someone is watching video on youtube so he also can improve the improve himself or herself it is good yes. way to improve 
I would say. Okay, now tell me honestly that have you ever watched my video? <laughs> Any of my video? So far, I would say uh, because I am new on this application, so I was looking for many applications, and uh, so far I have connected to many YouTubers, and I I have watched the videos of them as well, and now I am looking forward to to get the link of your channel so that I I also can visit to your channel. Okay, so <laughs> like, you have that's why you asked me uh, introduction because most of the people who are actually YouTuber here. Like in this group, so they understand okay. and they know most of the time each other. So that's why I asked okay. you. So my channel name is Advocate Karishma Chauhan. You can visit it. You can check it, and maybe this video will surely I'm going to upload on my channel within one or two days. And okay, yeah, it's I a love conversation with you. Yeah. Sorry, I would definitely visit your channel because I also want to. Uh, you know, if whatever you are speaking with anyone, so you use some different words which. uh those words i don't use while speaking so i also can get these words can go, uh, can be, get these words whatever you are speaking those who i don't know so i can use those words in my day to day spoken so that i also can improve my vocabulary and yeah this is the way i think because i never work on my writing skills never worked on my writing skills i never worked on my uh, any other skills i just started speaking and by learning same here right. same with me likewise yeah same i never worked on my writing skills even i'm still learning my grammar is not good even while i speak i make a lot of grammatical errors you know yeah, here and there minor yeah. errors i i always make so i'm okay with yeah. it and i'm just you know ignoring them and i'm just focusing more on speaking <laughs> yeah i'm also just focusing on building confidence how to uh, how to speak confidently with the people uh, without any hesitation because you know that much you know the grammar that is enough for me uh, that is enough i think so right yes. if you go want to go further uh, yeah if in order to speaking confidently or in order to uh, be very you know advanced so i would say the person get into the habit of having conversation after that that he can become advanced speaker as well right okay. so i cannot like judge myself now at at what level i am standing right away but yeah i'm getting some exposure i'm getting some ex, uh, uh, getting some feedback real time feedback from your kind of personality so yeah i'm improving myself and you know i would say it's been two hours i have been having conversation with the people continuously <laughs> i know i'm thinking to have conversation for the next two hours because i am in the hospital right now and uh, okay. my son is admitted here so now we are getting discharge so it will take 2 to 3 okay. hours in the billing and also i'm just getting bored so i thought of utilizing this time so like i'm available so for the next what month. happened what happened to your kids okay. he got typhoid typhoid okay so be careful and be very cautious while having take care of your kids i would say because nowadays the weather is going to be change so these things are being you know getting increased so you have to be very cautious while taking taking care of your child and i would uh, because i only can suggest these things i am also from medical background so i can only suggest yeah these things to you i did my graduation in pharmacy earlier i used to work as a pharmacist pharmacist in a, in a hospital in a gurugram and yeah i visited like very big brands there in gurugram itself oh that's nice so i know most of the you know hospitals are there in uh, gurugram and delhi and here as well and i worked in noida as well so but yeah i work in bpo now so that is like good sector for me to work oh, so okay. now i would like to know last and uh, but not the least thing i would like to know like how am i talking to you because you are great at communication so you can give me the real time feedback what should i do what should i do to improve my communication a lot i feel that you are good i don't think that you need any improvement or like anything because i am also on the same level as you are speaking i am not really a great speaker it's yeah. just that i am using very basic uh, vocabulary while speaking and you use some good words while speaking so i think you're much much better and i think you're already improved everything is okay i don't find anything any lacking point in your conversation you're very okay, much okay but i the uh, voice yeah. is good you're speaking confidently using good words vocabulary fluency is also there so i have good feedback yeah okay okay well thank you for your feedback and thank you to me to have me this over this call and literally i'm looking forward to have another conversation with you in future and uh, hope so your your son will also get well soon and uh, and after like reaching to your home and you will you know 
do some good thing for her for him as well and you should prepare something you know healthy to him and uh, you should prepare you should focus on the proteins or hemoglobins content right yes, yes. mostly and but you should the you kids know, don't like to eat anything it's very a big struggle for the mothers only mothers can understand that how difficult it is to feed them the right nutrition i am a kind of person yes, who is very yes. foodie and you know i love cooking i make a lot of good dishes on daily basis but he doesn't like any of them <laughs> he just simply eat white rice <laughs> plain protein yeah. nuggets, that's it he don't like vegetables okay. and all so that's the reason like okay. kids can, cannot get proper okay. nutrition because they don't like it yeah in my childhood i was also very skinny person you know i used to say to my mom yeah i used to say to my mom, mom i don't like to have this thing i don't like to have bitter gourd or like that like green vegetable but but when i completed my graduation or even in the graduation during the graduation i got to know the reality of food how to prepare and yeah. <laughs> and how to eat so when i started making for the first time chapati so i made them like a like a like a map of india so i was very <laughs> so i was very hilarious at my chapati uh, when i prepared for the first time but yeah by the time slowly and gradually how to, i got to know the how to prepare food and now i'm very great at cooking as well That's nowadays i'm not getting the chance to prepare the food but yeah on the occasion of holi or diwali i try to prepare food for my family at my home for my mom for my father so i try to prepare i really get this chance because my schedule is completely hectic from since morning to uh, to go to the bed i completely keep myself busy in such things okay that's so all. i think it's been long time yeah it's been long time to having this conversation and we should wrap up this call now okay so thank you to have me this uh, to have me here on this call and one thing i would like to say to you that if you are going to upload this session over the youtube so will you <laughs> upload this whole session over the youtube or you would do some editing in that i will upload the whole session we okay. can have a, so sure, you can, if you want you can upload this session on your channel i have no issues with that you can have okay, another i just my channel no you also can upload the same because yeah we i can edit my yeah. yeah i will edit my video and then there would be no copyright over there right you can upload the same video i will do uh, some editing in that and there would be no copyright okay okay no issue thank you thank you so much for joining me yeah thank you so much for having me here thank you bye bye okay bye bye and take care of your health and your family too bye bye